saw in his wickedness. And everywhere he is uh, 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 on this planet's earth, uh, wickedness uh, flourishes, man. Yeah. So this is the prophet Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Right. It says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Because Esau is pushing to the caves, remember? He was pushing to the caves, he was brought down to a desolate. But then he said, I'm a, when I come out, I'm going to rebuild. And guess what he did? The nigga yeah. actually accomplished it. Because the Most High said that he will accomplish it. Go ahead, Ock. Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. You're going to build, but the Most High going to throw down. Yeah. And that's of a, of a, of a surety. Right. Because the Most High right. going to nuke this kingdom, man. That's right. You know? Man. There's going to be a new judgment on the earth. Nobody ain't never seen nukes. Uh, just multiple amounts of nukes go off. Right. That's a new judgment. You know? Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? That's all right, bro. Go ahead. You good, bro? Go ahead. <laughs> you know, Jake is goofy. He don't know where the hell he going. Go ahead, I. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And you gonna, we going to call those, those people who's going to come back and rebuild the border of wickedness. And that's the Edomites. Go ahead, I. And the people against whom Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, hath indignation forever. Yahweh. That's right, man. And the Most High is hot at Esau to the point where he's going to actually do an annihilation of his whole nation. You know? This nigga is the only people that will ever be cut off. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. That's beautiful, man. And there's a scripture in, the, in Ecclesiastes that said there's no end to the people. You know? Most I go fucking cut his ass off though. Well, you gotta go. Uh, you know? uh, and then what's said? Well, you know the, the spiritual, the spiritual guessing from the, how the apostles explain it. Yep, yep. Esau's spirit just going to the other nations, maybe. Yes, because it is an energy. It is the Most High spirit. Most High ain't gonna destroy his, a part of his own energy. Right. Just you know, like, uh, just like that. Try. Yeah. They blend it in. Yeah. Same case. A lot of us brothers out here don't even know, but we, we, we are we are from the tribe of fucking Dan. You know? That's some serious crazy shit. That's yeah. just some insight that Trump gave over the years, you know? Right. Because Dan is still amongst us. It never said nothing about Dan being eliminated. It didn't get eliminated, nothing ain't still amongst us. It just blended into the people. Because you got uh like Denmark, it's named after Dan. It called it really means Dan Mark. Because the tribe yeah. of Dan went up there. And, and, and they set their mark up there, Dan Mark. Woo, look at that. Yeah. No, not to, not to be saying that I'm teaching something about Dan. No, fuck no. Uh -huh. But the thing is that, if you think about it, Dan is still amongst us. Yep. So but the them. elect coming out of the, the pro tribe, though. After that thousand, they eat them. Yeah. You just go, you're going to wake up a goop one day, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to eat them like hell, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody confused with what he's hum, saying, man. Yeah. Hemity hum hum hum. You're gonna be a hand mic now. God damn it. Go ahead. It's about Obadiah 1 and um and 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee had deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat their bread. That's going into Revelation uh, chapter 17. Right. Huh? It said they, basically what that guy was talking about, the whore and stuff. It said they that eat they, that bread and laid a rune under thee, there is none understanding in him. Hey, they that everybody eating that Esau table at once, everything was good at once. Yep. Yep. Everybody patting, patting, could you pass the gravy and all that shit? Everybody was eating now to the point where it's Nigga, this fool nasty, nigga. You know? Certain certain people ain't showing up to the table. Where, where's uh where's friends at? You know? Hey, he's yeah. to the point. He's to the point when the head guy is leaving. Yeah, I know. Because Trump Donald Trump left the uh he the left the two days early. Yeah, you know I'm saying. They get made fun of. But he getting mocked over there, you know? But now the most I get ready to stir these other nations up like, look, we gotta get this nigga. You know they already plotted behind closed doors. Right, during the time when you watch this, there's a show called The Bullshears. Remember that show? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They was all going, they all come together to get rid of one person. Right. <laughs> Even though yeah. they didn't get along with each other. Right. Yeah. But they got to get this one person out. They got to get this one person though. Yeah. You know? And that's exactly what it is. These, a lot of these nations don't get along with each other, but they're going to come together to blow America apart. 
Your, your precious America is, is going to be destroyed. That's right. right. You shouldn't love America, man. The Heavenly Father hates America. That's right. That's right. The God of the Bible hates America. That's right. The God of the Bible hates America. That's right. That's right. Find that you shouldn't want to be. You shouldn't want to have no career and do all this extra stuff in America, because the Heavenly Father hates this place and get ready to destroy it. That's right. 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 I got a quick one. Huh? So, I know, right? <laughs> what? Hey, Revelation uh, 17 and uh, 15, and he said unto me, the words which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth our peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues and the ten horns which thou, which thou sawest upon the beast these shall hate the whore Woo! NATO and the EU switching up this one. yeah they switch sides switching you know? sides up and stuff you know and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire and that's when these other nations decide to shoot these nuclear missiles uh, right here Get the mushroom cloud too, bro. Yeah. Woo! No, keep that one up, bro. Get the mushroom cloud on this one, all right? That's America on fire. That's that lake of fire right there. <laughs> Hold on real quick. Look, this is this how it's going to be. It's going to be boom, boom, and boom. boom. <laughs> you know? Hey, simultaneous. That's a slide. That's a slideshow. You know? All, all in 30 minutes. Yeah, stop that. Yeah, all in an hour. Yeah, yeah grab that, hour. that revelation yeah. on an hour. Let me finish this though. Hey, hey, how you doing, bro? What's up? You got a question or you got some problem? I was, I was wondering what you wanted this to know. We're basically talking about the, how the Heavenly Father hate, the, hate America and how he's going to destroy it. And we we're, were, were, were just going into how these other nations that's in league with America, NATO, the EU, that that whole little assembly is breaking apart. And they're, start, they're starting to get mad at America because of the things that America's doing to these other countries. And they're getting to the point where it's prophesied that these these things are going to be shot over here and destroy yeah. America. Sorry. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, boy. Hey, and keep that slideshow up. Yeah, keep the slideshow. Yeah. No, you can you can talk that one, bro. You talk that one. And we're also telling, we're also saying that the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites. Yeah. Right. And that we're the only ones that can receive salvation. That's it. Yep. And that we're that still is. in slavery. Yep. You know, and the Lord and, is a black man. And we even go, we even go into how, how the elites of this society, the Rothschilds or what they call the one percent, how they, how they did a big number on the Americans. They did a hell of a number on y'all, man. Yeah. And now they're getting ready. The next step. The next step. The very next step that they're getting ready to do is to introduce their new world order. Yeah. And the new world order. No, it's nothing good for you. It's nothing good for us. It's not good for the, the average American. It's nothing good for them. There's a hand-picked, amongst the New World Order, there's a hand-picked number of souls who they're dealing with. Everybody else got to die. Everybody else got to die in their place. And this is this is true, man. This is right before everybody's eyes. The, eye, the society is turning before everybody's eyes. Everybody's still going about their day. Like it's, no, it's changing. They getting ready to put an RFID chip in everybody. That's why oh, they're, they're eliminating cash slowly. Society is going down, man. You know? Y'all got a hot boy? I'm gonna finish off. What up? You got anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your goal? Say, oh, say it again? What, what, what is this goal? The goal is that for us? You know what, what is a goal? What is a religion called? Oh, no, no. It's, well, we don't even consider ourselves a religion, but that's a whole nother story. But we the Hebrew Israelites. I'm pretty sure you heard of them. Okay, okay, well, we Hebrew Israelites, which is literally our true nationality. The nationality that was beat out of us during slavery. You know, I know you know about Toby and he got his back whooped. Is, your name ain't no more Kuta Kinte, but your name is Toby. During the time of slavery. Okay, well, favorite, basically yeah, during slavery we lost our heritage. Yeah, your favorite basketball player is an Israelite, man. That's yeah. right. Okay? Yeah. Your favorite singer or whatever is an Israelite, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're like that. And yeah, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite in any 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 entertainment world? Nobody in, in America. Hey, even if they're not in America, who's your favorite? They'd be in Australia. You wouldn't even know. What 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 sport Try though? It. Australian football. You, you oh, okay. Like uh, rugby, rugby or rugby? IFL. 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 Oh, IFL. Yeah, yeah. What what what's his nationality though? Yeah. Australia. Oh, he's Australian. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he got to be a Jake too. Yeah. Well, you never heard of you never heard of regular NBA. You know, never yeah, heard. I never heard. Follow it. Okay. 
What, oh, right. So you just said today you ain't into anything else, bro? Right. What you into? Or tell me some sports that's in America that you into. I don't sports in America. Okay. Sorry. Are you You Australian? I'm Australian. Why would I follow sports? Okay. Hey, hey, hey! How long you been in America? A month. Oh, how damn! You like it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You like it, huh? It's good yeah. for you, huh? Hey, the thing is that the reason why you like it so much because <laughs> what are you, what are you, you don't. What are you He's an Edomite. It's good for you. I oh, know he's an Edomite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, good for you because you're here. It's because you're an Edomite, man. That's why. If you are black, you wouldn't be saying it's good. Or Latino. Oh. Okay, but uh, yeah, I mean, you I, probably I, get pulled over and die. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, you probably get, you probably get choked to death and yeah. say you can't breathe. Yeah. 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 You say you probably get pulled over. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right, bro. Hey, hey, yo, let me just give you a quick tip, pointer. Just stop eating sugar. You will lose a dramatic amount of weight, bro. I'm telling you. Just stop eating sugar. That's the main thing. Sugar. You you probably because I know you deal with it in your mind. Stop eating sugar and your waist, your your weight will go down tremendously. And a, and a colon cleanse too. Right. Detox. Detox. Right. Detox. Stop eating McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. All right, bro. He didn't know he was talking about that. Hey, y'all ruined his night. Hey, he's like, ruined it. What if my weight has to do with it? Yeah, motherfuckers, did you get it? When you woke up this morning, you looked in the mirror, and you got kind of mad at yourself. Hey, he's like, ruined it. Let's go, let's drop him, let's drop him. Right, this is Prophet Job, chapter 18, beginning up verse 11. Job. 18 verse 11. Lock in, brother. Lock in. Lock in. Just a little bit. A little bit more. It says, Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. Mm -hmm. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. It shall dwell in his tabernacle, because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his, excuse me, upon his habitation. Yeah, yeah. man. So yeah, man, you saw got it coming, man. It's prophesied all up and down the scriptures. Different man seen these different these same events and explained it different ways. This place is done. That's right. right. That's right. You know? Let's do a quick one up, brother. I'm gonna put a healing prayer up, man. Let's do it. Alright. Alright, Brock Day Howard. 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 Brock Day